In this demonstration, we'll be showing you how to make an electromagnet. Uh, what you'll need is a, um, a piece of conductive uh, metal. Um, this can be iron or something that, that, is, um, that can be magnetic. Um, you'll need some type of wiring that you can wrap around your, um, your conductor and uh, a pair of wire cutters or wire strippers. Um, I will demonstrate both of these uh, wire strippers here. Uh, this is a very simple kind that you can find any, almost anywhere. This is a more advanced, uh, easier to use set of wire strippers. What you'll do is you'll take your wire and lay it in the tip there and then just pinch. Pinch it closed and it cuts and, um, and strips the wire very evenly and very consistently. Uh, but you have to, probably have to go out and buy one of these. These are not extremely easy to find. The other set of wire strippers is a little easier to find. Um, if you look, you'll notice there are different size holes in the, in the pincher here. Um, these correspond with different gauges or thicknesses of wires. Uh, we are using, this is a 12 gauge wire, but on here it only goes to 20 gauge. The larger the number, the smaller the wire is. Uh, since we only have 20 gauge, we'll use that. It'll work for this demonstration. Uh, you want put it, to put it in the hole and pinch down tight. You might need to kind of twist the wire to make sure all the, the insulation on the outside is cut. And then just pull it off like that. And the wire comes out stripped and clean um, and works very well. Now to make your electromagnet, <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is get a spool of wire. You may not need this much wire. You can buy wire in smaller quantities. And you'll start at one end. Now you want to make sure that you leave wire hanging out of the outside. This is to attach your wire to your battery or your power source. Starting from one end, you're going to wrap and coil the wire around your conductor. All the way down. And then, all the way back. The more coils you have, the more powerful your magnet will be. Uh, this is because anytime you have electrons flowing um, through a conductor, like the wires is, our, um, is where the electrons will be flowing in this instance, um, that produces a small magnetic field around the wire. Now, by coiling your wire around something, it um, amplifies the magnetic field to the point that it actually produces, turns your, um, your rod in the center into an electromagnet. Uh, now I'll demonstrate, we have one finished here, um, and I'll take a, a regular 9 volt battery, and I'll connect the wires to the positive and negative leads on the battery. As you can see, it picks up. Now if I let off the battery, if I release one of the leads, the battery drops, or the, the, the metal drops that we were trying to pick up there.